We are here with David. 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 Renoir, but don't worry about <laughs> that. So I am an embedded software engineer right now in Cambridge Consultants. I study computer science and I go to work university and I'm on my gap year. Tell me about Originally. your nationality. Mm. Where was you born? I was born in Ireland. It doesn't look like it, but <laughs> black Irish man. Black Irish, isn't it? <laughs> but my parents are from Nigeria, so you know, still got the heritage of me. But the education was in Ireland. And okay. UK. Okay, okay. Perfect. What was the first thing in your life that got you into, in your case, computer science? Mm, mm, mm. When I was like maybe 11, 12, I was like really big into online games. Okay. Um, I started off playing, I didn't start off playing, but I was playing this game called Roblox. Okay. Probably heard of it. And in Roblox, there's a function where you can make games. Okay. And this place called Roblox Studio. And I used a programming language called Lua. Okay. And it was from there I started like building up and learning how to program a little bit, making my own games. And yeah, from there I got into it. So that's like <clears> the, <throat> the equivalent of Minecraft Redstone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I guess Minecraft that, Redstone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But okay. like less about circuitry and more about you know actual actual game. programming yeah. okay 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 i like that what happens after that you really enjoy this roblox thing like i imagine you start doing some serious maths maybe you discover calculus maybe uh, yeah. and then what happens what happens at maybe 16 years old when you're like hmm maybe i should go to university mm-hmm. and what subject you should pick around that time i was like also really starting to enjoy maths more so i was like okay in my A-levels, I'll start doing a bit more maths. Okay. More. I picked physics as well. Okay. I was like, that was, bro, <laughs> I don't want to speak about no? that. No? No. Was, was that bad? Didn't like it that much. No, no, you no. need to talk about it. What happened in physics? What, uh, what happened? Physics, ah, oh, man. It was just confusing. Like, it was just... What exactly was it? What, yeah. what, what subjects in physics really put you in a spliff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mechanics. Mechanics, yeah. really? That's even in maths, though. That is in maths, yeah, but I still hate mechanics. Really? Maths. Yeah, like, I just didn't like it. Okay. What A levels did you do? Maths, better maths, business, computer science. Why computer science? Why did you pick it? Why not engineering? Yeah. yeah. Because computer science was what has the most programming, basically. And, and like, you love programming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a very fair answer. Why did you why did you think that computer science is needed? Because a lot of people actually argue that everything in the computer science world can be mm. were, were taught from uh, from YouTube. Mm. Oh, right, yeah. Do you yeah, see yeah. what I'm saying? Why yeah. why didn't you do an apprenticeship in software engineering at like I don't know, uh, Deltoid or PwC? You know that you know yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. talking about them yeah. them software engineering internships, yeah. Yeah. Cuz I guess I wanted a mix of like um the theory behind computer science mm. and the actual practical aspect of it. Okay. But when I went to uni, it was a bit more than I expected. I will say that much. Okay. And you got to uni, I have a great question and it's about further maths. Okay. How much did further maths actually help you? A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. So you a say lot. that's a serious, serious A-level that you that do recommend. Really, yeah. And it helped me a lot with normal maths A-level as well. Yeah. And I was able to breeze through that. Basically. Okay. 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 What do you like about computer science and what do you dislike about it? What and like, hopefully, like, and mm. just one more last thing, like, hopefully is for you, do you think the positives outweigh the negatives in that subject? I like the whole problem solving aspect of it. That's the main thing that's enjoyable about it. Okay. I would say the thing that's the most annoying is having to keep up with literally every little thing that happens mm. in the world or else it feels like you're going to get left behind. Mm. Kind of thing. Okay. Okay. Favorite module? Favorite module? Cybersecurity. The ones you hate the most? The one I hate the most was yeah. ethics. Ethics? Yeah. It, wait, it was called professional skills in my uni, but like, it's like all the ethics stuff. About, so you had to write essays? Yeah. Okay. It's like, I like writing, but with that, it was just so dull. It okay. just wasn't what I wanted. Okay. What happened in your second year about the decision to do an internship? What was your thought process? Why did you think, why did you think that doing an internship is a good idea? Especially that you were doing computer science, the best degree in the world, which pays the best, employs the most. What's mm. the point when you can wait another year and then make 40k a year? Yeah. I mean, it was mainly because I wasn't really sure if I was going to be able to get the job I wanted after uni because it would be so competitive. Okay. Um, I mean, it depends on the company you apply for, but I wanted to be able to go for some of the top ones after I graduate. Okay. So, yeah, I thought that doing a year out in getting some actual experience would help and mm. also i just thought i wanted to get a taster you know okay 
And would you say you're getting a good taste of? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Eye-opening. Eye-opening. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about your internship? Scale it from a, like, from 1 to 10, 10 being the best experience ever in your life. Even in every single multiverse, you would always take that route. One mm. being, you want to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, 10, because if it was like I went back in time, I told myself, yeah, you're going to do an internship. And I was like, do I want to go away from that or do I want to do something else? Mm. I definitely still take the internship because mm. I just I just think that experience is important. Okay. But did I like it? Not really. Ooh. I got like, and why is that? Why is that? You don't even have to go really, really specific part. You know, like yeah. a general, general point of view. What's what made you say that you don't like it overall? It's just like, um, is it the sitting in the desk? Yeah. Is it the getting the the mundane task of doing the same old writing code that is not actually difficult, not actually yeah. hard, and it's yeah. just basic bitch stuff? First of all, I'll say the company wasn't bad. I I think work. it was just. Yeah, it was just like the whole environment of being in an office, like you said. Mm. And like knowing that you're going to be doing that for what's probably going to be the rest of your life. <laughs> it's free. <pretty, laughs> I know that's uh, deep. Yeah, I know that's yeah, deep. Yeah. But, like, but then what the fuck are you going to do? You're, you're a software engineer. How, I know. What are you going to do software engineering? I know, I know. Uh, I know on a desk? Know. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So but how are you going to... Like, uh, what's what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I just... I That's the thing. I just don't know. Oh, like, okay. I because guess I didn't like it as much as I thought. Because technically, that's going to be... That's going to happen in every single in company. Everything. Yeah. So maybe you're not doing the right thing in your life. That's what I think. So let me ask you now, what would you do? Would you have changed your degree? <sighs> would I have even done a degree is the question. Yeah, would, it, would <laughs> you think even doing a degree? And if, was that a good choice? And do you think you picked the right mm. route in life? Mm. Maybe it will pay, but like, maybe it pays well, but does it speak to your heart? Yeah, I would say... Nah. <laughs> no? Okay. Nah, not as much as I thought I would, to be okay. honest. Not as much as I thought I would. But you're going to uh, stick to it, I imagine. You're just going to yeah, finish yeah, it off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll stick to it. Maybe I'm just cruising along. But I feel like if I get more into it, maybe. Okay. So you're still a bit open-minded. It. Maybe something Maybe something will reignite the flame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. We'll see. <laughs> what about during your internship? What helped you out? The mo- What made work really easy for you? And what made university really easy for you? Some tools, mm. some uh, programming languages in, in this case that yeah. really just made your life a breeze. Python. Of course. Python. Python. Uh, I like that. I like that answer. Like whenever you want a quick script done, just do it in Python. Okay. I liked VS Code and it's all it's whole like SSH extensions, so you don't have to get a VM for certain stuff. Mm. Um and Super like stuff. WSL and all that. One more thing I need to ask you about. I know you have a bit of an interest in hacking. And mm. we all know in this world that hacking is super cool. Everyone thinks it's cool. But no one really knows what it is. No one really knows how to do it. No one really knows how to get into it. Yep. It's a mystery. How? Who? What? 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 Where? <laughs> I mean, right there. <laughs> a good place to start would be just getting your fundamental network knowledge, computer knowledge, technical knowledge, programming knowledge, all that, mm. and then kind of putting that together mm. to like try and break things that are already established, kind of thing. Okay. And for me personally, I started off just doing CTFs, which is called Capture the Flags. Okay. Um, and I used to do those on a website called Hack the Box. Mm. Um, link, in, link over here. <laughs> Some of the stuff you learn from that can be applied to real world hacking, mm. but not entirely. Like, there's still some things that are gamif- gamified about it. Okay. So, Have you ever thought about doing any unethical hacking? No. <laughs> no? Never? At least I wouldn't say it here. I wouldn't oh. say on this. I wouldn't say on this interview, but for the sake of <laughs> public, <laughs> no, definitely no, not. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, man.